the world is in trouble, Sheila. I've always understood that intellectually, but I've never really taken it in. I understand now that time is truly running out. We are destroying ourselves on every level through our violence, and we are incapable of thinking about it or acting on it in any but the most superficial or ephemeral of ways. Everything we've ever built was designed for a future that may never come. Maybe it's because I was born abroad and I've always felt like an outsider. And uh, this is just a manifestation of that feeling of being different or unique. Also, I was young when my dad died. So maybe I'm just processing his loss in a new way now that I'm older. But I promise you, I've been devoted to reality my entire life, except for the reality of violence. Violence I never let in. Things would happen in the world. I'd think, well, that's life. That's just how it goes. I never really asked why. I never tried to understand it. Or to, or to feel it. Since, since the shooting, that's all I've been doing. My reading, thinking, meditating on it, its grip, its ubiquity, its, its power, its disguises. I have to try to do something about it. I'm being called to. It's me. Oh, hey, bud. Come in. <laughs> hey, what's up? <laughs> hey, uh, do you have a second? I need your help. Don't you have a date with printer lady? I am on my way, actually. Uh, but first, I, uh, I need to ask you something. What? Well, I don't want you to take this wrong way. <laughs> okay. Can I kiss you? What? <laughs> Can I kiss you? <laughs> what? I need to know if I'm a good kisser. <laughs> I, I, I need to know if, if, if I'm a good kisser. <sighs> Look, you remember Amy? Oh, the one who had the birthmark, birthmark. that looked like a parrot. Yeah. yeah. Well, when we were breaking up in the middle of everything, she told me I am a weird kisser. Dennis. I know. I just I think I'm going to kiss on you tonight. And I need to know if I'm doing it correctly. You're using your lips, right? You know what I mean. So, can you help me out here? You want to kiss me? Yeah, if it's not too weird. <laughs> okay, I know it's you really weird, but... You want to kiss me? Yes! And then I want to critique. Look, I, I really like Anya, and if I am a... Weird kisser, I need to know before tonight. Okay, well, how would we... I mean, it's not that hard. Jesus, dude. Is this some sort of strange romantic overture? We've been friends for what? Five years now? I mean, if you have some feelings for me, it would be normal. <laughs> okay. Well, we have been friends for a long time now. And you know I care about you a lot. And I enjoy spending time with you. 
But more importantly, I trust you. Okay, okay, Ooh, I thought something like this was coming. They've been coming for a long time. And as much as I care about you, Dennis, and I do, I just don't think about you in that way. You're such a good friend. I mean, I don't know what I would do without you. I really just want to stay friends. Yes, me too. <laughs> good. <laughs> <laughs> Now, can you tell me if I kiss weird, or...? Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus, dude! I can't believe you made me say all this. Just give me the Let's Be Friends speech! You're such a dick. I, I know, just... Just just kiss me. All right. Fine. <laughs> so what are we looking for here? I simply want an honest, sober appraisal of how I kiss. That's all. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I think it was a phrase, sober appraisal. <laughs> yeah. Really doing it now? Really doing it now? Well, I'm, I'm gonna go meet Anya now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thanks. Anytime. <laughs>